bring your hands like this on, on the sides of your ribs. And literally, your left hand, I want it to be between the ninth and twelfth ribs, which is self-explanatory. <laughs> like there. Like there. Like do left. And the right, do right. So I've been talking a lot about a vertical axis, but we also have in our body a horizontal axis. A horizontal axis. So if you close your eyes for a moment and you breathe, sensitize yourself to the, first the ribs, so that's bone. That's like the um, scaffolding of your body. And as you close your eyes, then allow your inner mind's awareness to feel beneath your left hand, there's a organ about the size of a large potato. So go more, uh, Victoria, go more left. Yeah, right on the sides. Mark, take your hands back more on the sides, yeah. And that is called the spleen. And diagonally from that organ towards the interior of your body is an organ called the pancreas. And in many systems, spleen pancreas is just one digestive organ. And then underneath your right hand is a huge organ that to me looks like a, um, like a stingray folded on itself. And that's the liver. And some of you are doing this. You can move your body, kind of almost sway it right to left, because the organs themselves are, they move like sea creatures, contained in the buoyant fluid of your body. The organs themselves, they're sensitive, they're receptive. Even in the Taoist master Mantak Chia, there's a practice called smiling organ practice, that you literally look inside of your body and you say hello to your organs. So just as you breathe, and the reason I'm having you bring your hands there is I want you to try to penetrate into the interior of your organ body so that we can move from that place. You can move from the sweetness of that sensitive, digestive awareness to get a greater clarity and even intrinsic feel of your own being. So this left and right, these are complementary organs in Chinese medicine, the spleen and the liver, complementary digestive organs and they are hugely supporting the interior of your body. So just allowing our attention to continuously focus here, you'll start to register them more and more. So bring your hands to your heart, keeping your awareness present in that horizontal axis. And feel as you breathe how the diaphragm muscle literally massages every in-breath. It pushes down on the spleen and the liver, pancreas. And every exhale as it expels the, as the diaphragm lifts up, they get plumpened. So literally every breath the organs are massaged So feeling into that middle band, what we call the solar plexus, but especially the left and right, like the east and west of your body. Take a deep breath in, we'll sing one om. Om. And 
Release your hands and lift your chin. Open your eyes. Please just come onto your hands and your knees. So to register your organs, which is perhaps a slightly different practice than you're used to, although if you've been with me, you are probably increasingly used to it. Just closing your eyes and as you feel your hands and your knees against the floor, just rotate your inner body right and left. So if you close your eyes and you feel the column of the spine, which is about the width of your wrist, you can feel in the back, the kidneys kind of play against the back body. And I want you to really feel, not twisting from the neck and the head, but as you twist the inner body to the right, feel how the spleen moves towards the liver. And as you twist the inner body, the inner body to the left, feel how the liver moves towards the spleen. So keep moving your inner body left to right. So it's very small moves. You're just moving the organ body. It's interesting, I don't see you guys moving. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not swaying your head. Everyone's like, mm. So feel the torso should be moving right to left. Just by you're defining your organs by creating movement within the organs. And curl your toes, lift your knees, push up and back to downward facing dog. So again and again, I'm going to ask you to focus your mind's eye literally. We'll use the other cues, but I want you to feel that band, and it's really not lower than your ribs. It's right in the middle of the, um, the lower ribs, and really the liver wraps all the way around from the front to the back of your spine. It's a big guy. Uh, in Chinese medicine, they call it the governor, and your spleen all the way to the left is um, like a master node. It's like the master of the lymph node system. Good. Please bring your right foot forward and come onto your left knee. As you get heavy in your legs, twist your right elbow to your left knee. I'm sorry, your left elbow to your right knee. So feel, first register spleen. I'm going to ask you guys to go slow in this class. So spleen. And then as you twist, let the organ body initiate the twist. Arms are just following the cues of that sweet inner feeling space. So as you stack hands, make space in your right side so the liver gets space all the way between your right armpit to your right hip. Every breath, allow, as you twist, and you're twisting again and again from the inner body, so just feeling how the digestive organs relate to each other, then allow, there's like a backwash. So even as you twist to the right, then there's a slight backwash of energy as you fill in again the left side. And then staying on the ball of the left foot, see if you can lift your left knee, but stay full in the organ body. So there's a different quality to movement when you move from muscle, when you move from bone. Now take your upper palate all the way up and out. So thinking from the horizontal plane, then create that vertical axis. Inhale, untwist, hands to the floor. Now think of your right leg coming out of the liver as you push right foot back to downward dog. Stretch your right leg up from that sweet, inner space, breathing. Take your right foot down, take your left foot forward and come onto your right knee. Get heavy in the legs. So one thing that moving from the organ body is going to naturally do, just bring your hands up to your left thigh and bring your right hand to the, to the right side. So Try to feel into, and it may take a few moments, right? You may not, if you're not used to sensing into the organs, it may not in the first second go, oh, here I am. But when you feel it, it, it smiles at you. I was saying like a, like a baby, a liver baby. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Twist, right elbow, left knee. The liver is such a big guy. It's such a big organ. 
that it, for most people, it torques your body. It makes the right side appear shorter because it has this deeper kind of compact energy. So when you twist from the right to the left, you can use the liver as the initiator of that twist. And then staying full in your back body, lift your right knee toward the floor. Just tipping into the organ body will put you in the parasympathetic nervous system. So think about that. Parasympathetic is rest and digest. It's what puts your body in a state of ease, in a state of space, in a state of heavy calm. Inhale, untwist. Step your right foot forward, Uttanasana. So as you let your bones anchor towards the earth, as you fold forward, feel how, feel how the kidneys can lift towards the ceiling from, from this nice flexion in the spine. And then do this. Bring your hands to your shins. And again, twist your organ body from left to right. And I want, I'm going to keep languaging these two, the spleen and the liver, because I want you to get familiar. So keep going just the left side to the right. Take your feet wider. And just feel where is it in relation, this sort of donut shape of your digestive system, right above the intestines. And then twist your inner body to the left. So use the right side. Use the liver to almost scoop up and rotate to the spleen, pancreas, and right in front of that, the stomach. Good. And then come back into the middle. Anchor down through your legs. Inhale. Stretch your arms all the way up to the sky. Hands to your heart. Again, bring your hands to the sides. Just here. So it took me... 14 years of practice to even think about my organs, except for the, in, the famous kidneys, which we were always inflating. So registering the organs, and I've watched different people's practices move in this way, creates the sweetest, sweetest, like sukha, ease, in the interior. Now, if you're feeling, and the reason I keep bringing your hands there, is if you're feeling the energy from your palms, the registry, moving into the organs, what you should feel is that your organs start to almost scintillate with recognition, which means that they're part of now your toolbox. They're part of your palette for painting and shapes, which is far more interesting than just being the two-dimensional exterior. So letting your legs anchor down, inhale, stretch your arms up. So I feel in my inner body, exhale, fold forward, is now it's starting to move into this feeling sense of like, wow. Inhale, look forward. Okay, stay full in the organ body. Step your left foot back to lunge. So get heavy in the bones and then feel right to left. Left side spleen, right side liver. Inhale, reach your arms up. Bring your hands to your heart. So now just for a moment, bow in so you feel kidneys. These guys, little like, um, one of my friends, KK, calls them fairy wings. Like, whew. And then just, just, so feeling the kidneys full, stay full, stay upright in your upper body. Now just twist your upper body to the right. So don't bring elbow to knee. Stay vertical. Use the spleen to drive the twist to the right. Get full then in your right side and then float your arms out to the side. So I'm going to, as we're using the horizontal organ axis, I'm going to also reference vertical. So upper palate moves up. And on the bottom, you could say your bladder moves down. You could bring your hands back to heart. Release your hands to the floor. 
Step your left foot forward, Uttanasana. Get heavy in all sides of your feet. Inhale, look forward. Feel the kidneys play towards sky. Exhale, fold, empty out your breath. Bring your fingertips to the floor. Keep your left foot forward. Step your right foot back. Lunge. Think of the legs as these tendrils that emanate from the kidneys. Then inhale, stretch your arms up. So staying full in the back body. Sorry. Bring your hands back to your sides. The reason I'm having you do it repetitiously is it took me about um, a month of looking to feel my spleen. And I was looking. Looking. So you may feel right away, and I've had people be like, lady, I don't feel anything. You're completely crazy. So see if you can feel, and then keep your hands on your sides. Twist your upper body to the left. So from right side, from the, from the governator of your organ body. Heart lifts up, thymus lifts up. Now bring your hands to your heart. So feel that relationship, the liver, which is primarily extracting all kinds of both, really cleansing filtration systems. Upper palate lifts up, tail goes down, then let your arms float out to the side. Use the liver to keep driving the interior space in the shell of the torso. And then even let the top of the lungs flow up. Mm -hmm. Good. Inhale, untwist, hands to the floor. Step your right foot forward, Uttanasana. Let your heels release. The more the bowl of the pelvis releases into the earth, the more space you get in the organ body. Push down through your feet. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up. Stay full in the back body. So you can't just go like that, or it's like you crush your kidneys every time. So it has to be full. Stay here. As you stay here, let the shoulders slide down your back. Feel the pedestal of the, the legs to me create a pedestal, the bowl of the pelvis as a lifted foundation for all of the organs, the vertical organ body. As you close your eyes, then just feel the organs swell. The reason I say they move like sea creatures is like in the liquid inner body, you feel the, the pulse of expansion and contraction and fluidity. The kidneys want to hang down. The liver wants to expand in the whole band of your right side. And the spleen wants to be nice, full, and plump to the left. Exhale, fold forward, touch floor. The good news is, if somebody is registering that organ, inhale, look forward, step back to plank, top of a push-up, you will feel it too. So as you keep directing your mind's eye, feel kidneys play up on either side of your spine, and then feel the expansion of the horizontal axis, lower chaturanga. So think upper palate, bladder, Liver, spleen, inhale, pull through. So you can use the bladder as the foundation. It's like a trampoline in the bottom of the organs. Dunk. Lifting up, broad and right to left, broad and right to left. Curl your toes, lift up and back, downward facing dog. Right foot forward, left foot flat, warrior two. Again, bring your hands to the side ribs. So as, as you feel your right heel intersect the arch of your left, I just want you to kind of move your torso left to right. You're not sure, look at me. Just like... Um, I don't know, in jazz, we used to call this isolations, but not doing it from the ribs. So if you can feel this band, this center frequency, right? 
spleen to liver, liver to spleen, spleen to liver, liver to spleen. And then just float the arms out to the side. Because mm -hmm. this is the support system. What happens when organs become diseased is they become stagnant. They can even become, they can become filled with calcium deposits. They can look eviscerated. And a healthy organ is fluid, it's, mo it's mobile. And sink deeper in the right knee. Fill in left side more, left kidney and spleen. Lex is good. Upper palate lifts away. Good, release, hands to the floor. Step right foot back, plank. If it's your second class in a row, you can take down dogs instead. Chaturanga. Inhale, pull through. Stay here. Soften, head down so that you fill in the back waistline. Feeling the bladder anchor. Feel the upper palate lift up. So there's the top and the bottom and then expand right to left in the interior space. Curl your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. Um, you've heard that saying, fake it till you make it. So um, my dad's a doctor that I like to sacrifice um, in stories. <laughs> When I first started really registering my organs, I said, Dad, can you feel your kidneys? He said, no, honey, you, no, you can't feel your kidneys. <laughs> Crazy person. Left foot forward, right foot flat, warrior two. <laughs> so feel that like you get the purpose of it when you start to, the, 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 the ability for your pelvis to become heavy towards the floor creates the buoyancy and the fluidity of the organ body. Bring your hands left to right, mostly because I bet relative to your life you haven't felt into your spleen and your liver that often. So as you sink deeper in your left knee, take your hands more side. Yeah, it's really like right on the sides. Do left is your spleen and do right is your liver. So when you feel them, then just float the arms out to the sides. It's like this, in the vertical structure, what is holding you up? What is creating the texture of this inner space? All of these things digesting, and you know that you feel them when they're in pain. So you can feel them when they feel good. That's it, upper palate goes up, bladder gets heavy and anchors down, excellent. Exhale, both hands to the floor. Step back, downward dog. Inhale, look up to your hands. Exhale, step or float forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, fold. Lift your feet up and place your hands underneath your feet. Padahastasan. So as you extend the top of the head, and you can think, in, in keeping with our organ situation, the brain moving, exactly opposite of that foundation of the bladder. And so when you establish the vertical axis, then the T-shape of the interior, or the donut of the digestive system, just feel, move your organ body inside, right to left, inside of your rib cage. So just by moving those guys, by moving your inner body, and it may feel very subtle, See if you can identify in your mind's eye, where's the diaphragm? How is it blanketing over the liver and the spleen and the kidneys? Can you feel your left kidney and your right kidney both playing on either side of the spine? And can you even feel the fullness of each organ? 
Release your hands from underneath your feet. Get heavy in your legs. Inhale from the back body, from the inner body. Stretch your arms up. Let the pelvis and legs anchor down. Exhale, hands to your heart. Standing on your right foot, bring your left foot to your inner right thigh tree. Hands to your heart. So lifting up through the upper palate. You can always take your tongue towards that place. Just as you did in the other pose, twist your upper body to the left. Twist your upper body to the left. You're not using the head. You're not using the arms. You're using your liver to dial that. Almost, your liver is almost like your, your lover's arm wrapping around your waistline. Lift up into the left lung. And then let your arms move out to the side. So what you feel as you keep focusing on the organs because it moves you into parasympathetic, you'll feel time and space start to slow down. Lift your upper palate up. That's it. Let your bladder get heavy as it moves towards earth. And bring your hands back to your heart. And release your left foot into the floor. Standing on your left foot, bring your right foot up to your inner left thigh. For both the liver and the spleen are purifying and cleansing the blood. Right? Think of this as the center, or one of the centers, of your digestive awareness. Awareness, everything that you take in. Lift the upper palate up so you get space. I want to see the neck like the top of a flute, go, whoa. Now use the spleen, do left, between ninth and 12th ribs, spleen wraps around. So we're focusing primarily on these two organs, that's it. And then feel how the liver has to make space to create that sweet, full interior. Mm -hmm. Top of the sternum lifts, upper palate lifts, then stretch your arms out to the side. So one organ drives it, but then there might be a slight reverb, a slight recalibration as you recreate space in left side. Good. Inhale back to center. Release your right foot to the floor. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, touch floor. Notice if you're doing it from the outer body, because it looks completely different. Inhale, extend from middle organs. Exhale, step to plank or float to chaturanga. Inhale, as you pull through, right, pause, take a moment so that you're letting this broaden and plumpen. Curl your toes, feel kidneys lift you up and back, downward dog. Nice. Right foot forward, left foot flat, side angle pose, parjva. This time just bring your right forearm to your right thigh. Bring your left hand to the ribs. So pushing your right hand into your right thigh, just feel your spleen. So find the lower ribs and then feel this, what is inside there, that's spleen. So just keep working to find that, feel that, get full in that, almost like you're filling it with water, like you're filling it with blood. And then stretch your left arm up and over. Now, when you're rotating in the cylinder of the torso, use the liver to rotate organ body towards the sky. And then you can take your right hand to the floor if it feels available for you. If not, slide the right shoulder away from your ear. Lengthening upper palate right out of the floor of the pelvis. Nice, Mark. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Inhale, step back to plank. 
Use the kidneys, use the kidneys full, chataranga. Inhale. So what I do when I'm practicing organs is I strip away my skin, even my bones, and I'm just organs in the inner space. Curl your toes from kidneys, lift up and back, downward dog. So it's like layers, 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 layers. It's like the jelly of the jelly donut. Left foot forward, right foot flat, and I'll, I'll keep searching, reaching. Left forearm to your left thigh, bring your right hand to your ribs. If you use the palm, I find the palm is more, more sensitive in terms of the registry. And you can move, like, if you use the spine, because if, if you were to see your organs from above, the spine will look like right in the middle, and everything kind of orients itself around that. It's actually not that big of a band. So then use your left side to rotate to the right towards the liver. Feel how the liver moves, and then take your right arm up and over your right ear. And as you like, take your left hand to the floor. That's it, good. Even if you find yourself get away, because sometimes you open your eyes and you fixate on a fingernail or something exterior, as you close your eyes, you're literally shining a light on the interior space of your body. Good. Exhale, both hands to the floor, step your left foot back, downward dog. Nice, good. Right. Let your neck and your head go right through the shoulder girdle. And take your feet, then please the width of your mat. And then take your left hand to the outside of your right shin. Now use your right thighs to widen the thighs apart. And now instead of twisting by using your arm, use your spleen. And again, use what you think is your spleen. If it's the ribs, it's not deep enough. You'll know you're moving from the right place because you'll feel it scintillating. You're like, lady, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> What's underneath your ribs? See if you can swell and make space for your liver. And then switch, bringing your left hand down, right hand to the outside of your left shin. So just for a moment, broaden that horizontal band and then use that complex. So if, you, if you're not struggling, you can add kidney, liver, feel how it relates to the stomach, and then swells and makes space to spleen. Lengthen the upper palate, so vertical axis intersecting the horizontal axis. And then bring your right hand back to meet your left, bring your feet back to inner hip width. Empty out all of your breath. Inhale, float forward. Extend, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up. Hands to your heart. So if you close your eyes, can you keep putting your awareness, can you keep directing your awareness into this space? I promise the more you practice it, the more it will, at this point, for example, I can just think of my spleen, boom, I'm there, and it drops me right into a meditative space. Organs already are made of the stuff of meditative space. Inhale, stretch your arms up. So my parasympathetic nervous system, it's easeful. Exhale, fold forward, rest and digest. Inhale, extend. The muscles will be recruited. See if you can float back, keeping your kidneys full. Huh? <laughs> Step or jump. Kidneys. Good, inhale. 
Move neck and head out of the shoulders. Yeah, good. From back body, lift up and back, downward dog. Right foot forward, pigeon prep. So as you let the thighs go back and apart, that lowest organ, the bladder, right, gets space there. So you can use it as a cue, right, kind of landmarks in the, in the inside of the torso. Heart, bladder, kidneys, donk, right? So you start to have landmarks fold forward. So you have a base. You have a top. Are you okay in the sun here? Okay. Make a um, pedestal for your brain, if you didn't already. Some of you did, stacking your fists. So to think of organs as groups of cells that combine for a singular purpose. Cells that combine for a singular purpose. Everything in consciousness is very intentional. So if something magnetizes together to become something we call an organ, it has a function and it has an awareness. Anything inside of your entire mind body, you can feel into. As you feel into it, you actually co-participate with it. That's why Montag Chia's smiling organ practice is one of the best things you can do for the health of your being. Feel your organs. So push, please, your right hand down and forward. I'm going to say thread your left arm through, but don't do it from your arm. Try to find the spleen, and if you travel up, I can use the whole lung wall. The lung, three-dimensional. So lung, spleen, everything organ wall twists left to right. And then feel how the liver, and inside of the liver, the gallbladder, right, can move and twist to the right. So try not to make it mechanical. You're not just laying on your left shoulder and collapsing. Every inhale, you're feeling what happens in the ratio of lungs to the organs, the chest cavity to the abdominal cavity. And as you exhale, use again spleen on the left side to move to the liver. Inhale, untwist. Place your hands strong, push back, downward dog, stretching your right leg to the sky. Bend your right knee, pull the knee towards your nose, lightly place the foot between your hands. Bring your left knee to the floor. Twist, left elbow, right knee, from spleen, from lung. Right. Feel, once you use the structure of the left arm against the right leg, then just feel how the organs play with each other. How spleen moves to liver, and then there's a softening and a backwash as liver moves back towards spleen. And those two, you're creating a deeper frequency between their connection. Sometimes one will overpower the other. Inhale, untwist, hands to the floor, plank. Sweet inner body. Chaturanga. Inhale. Feel as you expand through the lungs. Right? Let the organs float down, get heavy, but then the lightness of the interior. Curl your toes, lift up and back, downward dog. Left foot forward, pigeon prep. Dialing your thighs back in apart so you're opening up the space for the core of the pelvis. And then as you fold forward, stack your fists so you make a pedestal for your brain. So the 
<clears throat> vertical axis going from the core of the pelvis through the heart to the brain. We've been talking a lot about that. And then feel this horizontal band. Spleen immunity. Cleansing the blood platelets. Sending cues to the liver. Also detoxifying the blood. Kidneys doing the same. They move and they operate. Like if you have snorkel or scuba dive, when you look underwater at the way, especially things like rays, manta rays, sea cucumbers, things like that, sea anemone, the way these things move, that's how our organ bodies move. And in part, that's because we were sea creatures for billions of years. I think the universe just took those ideas, those simple organisms, like anemone and jellyfish and sponges, and put them inside of us. That you will not learn in science class, because it probably has no basis in reality. Push your left hand down and forward. Do it from the liver. Twist. So liver, right lung. Liver's like a lung on its side. It's almost like the size of a lung. It's thick. It's deep. It's juicy. It's full. Let your upper palate move away from the core of the pelvis so that you're lengthening again through the vertical, but then see how that influences your ability. See if you can go even more inner body, not muscles, inner body. It feels sweet. It feels vulnerable. It feels different. Inhale, untwist. Nice. Place your hands strong to the floor. Push back, downward dog. Stretching your left leg to the sky. And then bend your left knee, pull the knee towards your nose, lightly place the foot between your hands, bringing your right knee to the floor. Okay, so as you twist, find the right side. Some students of mine, right elbow, left knee, who, been, who went through months of, we would just put ourselves in a room, go into the organs and do our practices. The next day, they would say, my god, my muscles are sore. But we weren't focusing on muscles. <laughs> we were focusing on the sweetness of the inner body, and the muscles complied. Upper palate moves away from pelvic floor. So you've got to get that re-lengthening. Re-lengthening? Pretend it's a word. Inhale, untwist. Hands to the floor. Step back, plank. Again, take down dog if you... This is your ninth hour of yoga today. Chaturanga. Slow down. Inhale. That's it. Take, it, take three breaths in up dog cobra. Right, so as you fill in the kidneys, as you fill in the space right to left, and then let the top of the lungs lift up through the top of the shoulder girdle. Nice. Curl your toes from kidneys. Push up and back downward dog. Right foot forward, triangle pose. One of my friends and students, um, his practice looks so amazing, so light. Like you cannot tell or see where any of the effort comes from. And he shared with me, I only now move from the organs. Once I learn of the organs, that's the only place I move from. And it looks so effortless. It looks like he's underwater, even while we're in this atmosphere of air. So it's pretty uh, amazing. Step forward, half moon. Feel now that whole band in the middle, the kidneys, 
Left side, you got spleen rising towards sun. On the right side, you got liver. And then as you turn, think of the head the, the, in the cylinder of the neck just rotating from the cue of the organs in that band. So from the liver rotating towards the spleen, move the organ body towards the ceiling. So the framework of arms and legs doesn't move as much as the sweet interior does the twisting. Okay, left hand to the floor. I know, whoa, turbulence. As you spiral your left leg towards the floor, feel it connect all the way up to left kidney and spleen, and then take your right arm up to the sky. If you keep going to the organs, whatever muscles are working in the legs, well, well, they're not the focus, they're not the onus. So now use the inner body. Don't use the reach of your right hand. Use spleen rotating to liver. Nice, Lisa. Upper palate moves away from bladder. All right, good. Bring right hand to the floor. Bend right knee, step back, pars, votanasana. Both legs straight. Feel the anchor of your pelvis down through both heels. Inhale, look forward. So feel the play of the kidneys against the back ribs. Exhale, fold. Notice how right side, can you make more space for your liver as you pull the right side ribs out of the right hip? Again, inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. That's good. Now do the next inhale, not from your neck and head, but from out of the core of your belly. Inhale, extend. And then exhale and fold. Twist, left hand to the outside of the right foot. Again, nice. So when you go slow, man, it looks so different. So just using the forearm against your right shin, now use the inner body, use the organ body to rotate the central axis. Last thing that happens is from right lung, right arm extends up. Mm -hmm. And the fingers, they just extend naturally from the electrical impulse. Okay? You can keep going from the inner body. See if you can rotate one more inch from organs. But then as you do that, let there be a backwash and a fullness in the left side, in the spleen. Good. Inhale, untwist. Your choice. Step through down dog or plank chaturanga up dog, down dog. Upper palate moves away from pelvis. Upper palate lifts up, creating more space for the top of the kidneys, the top of the organs. Exhale, downward dog. Good, Brian. Left foot forward, triangle pose. Think of the energy from my kidneys as powering down through the legs. Right? So the kidneys are these amazing um, energy sacks in the back of the body that power down through the legs. And then as I use the cues of the horizontal axis, spleen moves around towards liver. And then extend the right arm tendril up out of the right lung. Stay full in the back of the neck. So go. Oh, yeah, like that. From the inner body, step forward, half moon. Almost like those organs are made with a light, almost helium filled. So just creating awareness there lets them float you up and the bones just follow from the sensitive energy. Mm hmm. Take your right hand to the floor. Don't move from the limbs, though. Even though I'm cueing your limbs, liver rotates, moving towards pancreas, moving towards spleen, left arm tendril extends up. Right, so finding the framework of the bones and then using these characters of the inner self that contain all the same awareness and consciousness as any other part of yourself to flesh out the interior. 
Left hand to the floor, bend left knee, step back, Parsvottanasana, three and a half feet distance. Good. Use the bones of the thighs to take the thighs back and apart to make space in the pelvic floor. Look forward from the core of the belly. Exhale, fold, empty, empty, empty out the breath. Could feel the kidneys lift up against the lower ribs. Again, inhale. Nice. Exhale, fold. Everyone make more space for your spleen by pulling your left hip back and lengthening your left armpit away. One more time. Inhale. Mm -hmm. Exhale, fold. Twist right hand to the outside of your left foot. Liver. Whew, big guy. The liver moves around the center um, donut of your digestive system and then reach your left arm tendril up. Upper palate lengthens right, so then you go back to the vertical axis, back to the sweet upper palate, back to pelvic floor. Inhale, untwist. Step your right foot forward, Uttanasana, forward bend. Get heavy from your sit bones to your heels. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. Push down through your feet. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up. Hands to your heart. Lift your arms up, lift your heels up. Even in the organs we can do this. So I want you just to stay here for a moment. You can look even at the floor, but feel the fluidity, the buoyancy in the organ body here. Bending knees, come all the way down. Hands to your heart. Twist your upper body to the left. As you're twisting upper body to the left, use liver. Hands to the floor. Rest your left thigh against your right arm. Pause. Now drive from your organ body right to left. So use your liver rotating towards the spleen. Extend heart forward. If you can, lift your feet up. If not, just stay with the twist of the organ body. Just stay with the twist of the organ body. So use liver to move the inner body to get more buoyancy to the left. Come back to center. Hands to your heart. Right. Notice that the ribs, especially in my body, they'll pitch forward. So when I create kidneys, they just go like two suction cups. And I'll use spleen, left side, to rotate. And then bring your left arm to the outside of the right thigh. Organ body. Got to situate the organ body twisting left to right to facilitate your ability to go forward. Then as you can, look forward. Top of the sternum moves forward. If you can, lift up the feet. I don't care if the feet get off the ground. But I'm interested that you're using the organs to facilitate deeper twists. Take your hands a little bit wider. And then you can... That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, good. Come back to center, lifting your heels up. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Nice. Heels down. Anchor your energy down. Anchor your energy down. Inhale. Let your lungs expand as they flow up. Exhale, fold forward, touch floor, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward, extend, step to plank or jump to Chaturanga. Just ease. Right? Even if you're doing strong moves, lower Chaturanga. Inhale, full in the kidneys, in the side, in this horizontal plane, full, 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 full. Exhale, downward dog. 
Right foot forward, come onto your left knee. Twist left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Mm -hmm. it help, if, I'm, I'm happy if I see you bring your hands to the sides, to the organs. Now as you can, once you have elbow to knee, lift your left knee off the floor. Keep putting your awareness back into that band. It should be very switched on now. Some of you can bring left hand to the floor, right arm to the ceiling. You're not allowing the pelvis to sag down because you're using the spleen to stay full and buoyant in the left side body. You're using spleen, pancreas, moving towards liver to get even more space and rotation. If you want to go even deeper, spin your back foot flat. Mm -hmm. But then use, again, the organs, not the arms. Use the organs to deepen that twist. Good. Everyone, inhale, untwist. Step your right foot up to meet your left. Uttanasana. Heavy in the heels. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold, empty. Keep your left foot forward. Step your right foot back. Come into low lunge, knee to the floor. Inhale, lift up. Liver moves and twist. Can you feel when you move into organ body how you start to like move into the meditative mind space? I can tell from the quality of your eyes. So when your eyes look easeful, even watery, that's the parasympathetic nervous system. When drool is moving out of the side of your mouth, that's the beginning of the digestive system. So you're in parasympathetic or you have a problem. <laughs> Lift your right knee. Think of the right leg as moving from right kidney. And then you can take left hand to the floor, which you're going, sorry, right hand to the floor. You're going so slow that you're just checking in with how the organs are playing against the rib wall. If you want to take your right foot flat, just turning it out slightly, you've got to pull your left hip back and use the liver to pull the spleen around. Upper pelvis moves out of the core of the pelvis. Right on. Inhale, untwist. Okay, listen. Just cross your right leg behind your left. Come to seated. Ardha Mastyandrasana. Just bringing your hands by your hips. If you're too, if you're too tight, if you're very tight here so that you can't get this curve in your lower back, sit up on a block or a blanket. Reach your right arm up. So right lung stacks on top of liver, which is then anchored through the large intestine. So there's this stacking of the organ body. Twist from liver. Right elbow goes to outside of left leg. But then there's this, like, if you bow forward for a moment, you can feel the kidneys get buoyant and spacious and then get the vertical axis. So keep the space of the horizontal axis, but then get vertical again. So all these different landmarks are playing with each other. Soften, breathe, and use liver to go the next step, next cleanse. Liver moves towards spleen, lift up through upper palate. Just feeling into that quality, that sense. In Chinese medicine, each organ is responsible, not just for a different element, but it's, it's responsible for um, different emotional space. The liver often is related to, to sadness or anger. Inhale, untwist. Stretch both legs forward.
Just for a moment, as you bring your hands by your sides, Dandasana. This pose used to be so boring to me. Now it's like my favorite. Because <laughs> it's very challenging to find, if you were to imagine this framework of the shoulder, everything between the shoulder girdle and the pelvic girdle. What is the inner body organ system doing inside of the framework? So study it here for a moment, closing your eyes. We won't go through all of them, but feel bladder and pelvic floor. Feel upper palate and the opposite end. Feel your kidneys playing against your lower floating ribs. And then feel in that atmospheric layer, left side spleen, right side liver. You can even sort of undulate right to left. I like to undulate to feel organs facilitate undulation. Stretch your arms straight up. Exhale, fold forward. Keeping the sitting bones anchoring towards the earth, lengthen through the crown. So one of the um, readings of um, a great innovator of movement named Bonnie Bainbridge Cohen, she taught quadriplegics to move. She rehabilitated them by teaching them to move from their organs, to initiate movement from their organs, which were not damaged. You can move like that. You can move like that. If you can feel your stomach being hungry or sick or nauseous, if you can feel your heart feeling joy or heartbreak, you can feel every other part of your body. Inhale and come up. And then please cross your right leg over your left. Mm -hmm. Some of you are so there, I'm like, just getting high looking at you. You're like, mm hmm. Like Ferdinand the bull when he smells flowers. <laughs> Spot the writer. The writers in the room laugh. They're like, ha oh, ha, good reference. All right, fold. <laughs> As you bow forward, let your kidneys play against your back ribs and then extend up. And reach your left arm up. You can use your right hand behind. Crossing left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Spleen drives. Spleen touches pancreas, touches liver. And then recalibrate to the vertical axis, lifting upper palate up, dialing tailbone down. I literally had to look at books. I could look at Netter's Anatomy hold the page open to the whole digestive system and stare at it like it was a deity that I was meant to become until I had a concept of the spleen, the color, the texture. I had an idea of the liver. That's why they become characters to me. <laughs> They're like my little collection, my menagerie of organs, my organ menagerie. Inhale, untwist. Stretch both legs forward. Actually, keep your right leg forward, pull your left foot back. Janusharsasana. Again, as you lift the hips up, spiraling the sit bones back and apart. Bring your hands like this to the side. I do these things not to... <laughs> I'm in the habit of kind of just feeling my organs play against the, the bones because I'm still trying to understand the different frequencies, the difference between muscle and bone and organ and endocrine and fluid. <laughs> Lifting brain away from bladder. Now use left lung spleen to twist your, twist your organ body to the other way, to the right. 
soften. Because right, you'll feel the muscles, if you're super strong, especially the muscles will override. They'll just be like, gunk. And then yeah, inner body, organ body to the right. Now fold. And the last thing that happens is you extend the arms. Left hand to the outside of foot or shin. And it's going to be, it moves your inner body, your organ body, just like the ocean. That's why I use the inelegant term backwash, but that's from, from surfer experts. I understand that's what it means, right? The, the backwash. Not the last part of the Coke can. That's quite a different image. <laughs> Left lung, spleen. Mm -hmm. And you have to constantly recalibrate to make room for those inner creatures. Those inner squishy bits. Left lung dials to the heart, heart dials to the right lung. I know. Now extend the upper palate right out of the bladder. Inhale, untwist. Take your right hand, don't change your legs. Take your right hand to your right foot or outside of your shin. Reach your left arm up. As you reach your left arm up, like you're reaching towards your foot, don't go to the foot yet. Just feel space as you stretch through the left side, feeling the spleen move against the, the ribs. It might even make you giggle. Like my organs make me giggle. And then if you can, take your left hand to the outside of the right foot. Now use liver to rotate towards spleen. I promise you this, moving from this way, acknowledging this way, your digestion will be better. Your health of your inner body will be better. The feeling state of your inner space will be better. The function of your organs will move better. Lengthen your upper palate right towards the top of your right foot. Inhale and come up. Stretch your left leg out to meet your right. Hands right by your sides. Lift your hips up, thighs back. Find Dandasana, fold forward. Paschimottanasana. Become so acute in your awareness of what the diaphragm membrane is doing and its ratio of the chest cavity and the abdominal cavity, how it cloaks, blankets, and massages the organs beneath. It's such an amazing, elegant design and system. Extending upper palate out of the pelvis. Inhale and come up. And then keep your left leg forward, pull your right foot back. Sitting bones go back and apart. Hands like cactus. So feel into your liver just by, it should become as easy now as just putting your mind's eye there. And then it goes, hey, how you doing? on the liver. Use your liver, right lung to twist inner body to the left. Upper palate goes up, bladder anchors down, and then you can fold right hand to the outside of the left foot or shin, use the left fingertips and then again recalibrate. Specific awareness. I've been talking about this term, interoception, which is what your awareness of what's happening inside of your body mind, as opposed to proprioception, which is your sense of where you are in space, or exteroception, which is your awareness of things that happen outside. Many humans have a very poor sense of interoception until things go wrong. 
So not letting the brain hang, but use the brain to extend away from the pelvis. Use the brain like an umbrella to extend away from the pelvis. Good. Inhale. Untwist. Take your legs wide. So take your right leg out wide. Both legs wide. Upavishta Kona Sana. Again, bring your hands just to your ribs. So you're sitting on the pelvic bowl. Move your organ body right to left. Right to left. Right to left. Right to left. Even in a circle, huh? <laughs> Even in a circle. Go to a circle the other way. So you can feel those guys moving around in there. That's it. Good. Keep your legs anchored strong. Now take your arms up over your head. Just keep anchoring your legs down. Use the kidneys, use the organs, and see if you can stay buoyant there as you fold forward. At some point, you're going to want to take your hands to the floor, but do it. See if you can like, recalibrate. Like For me, my right side's pulling the focus because the liver's stronger. So I'm trying to use spleen to counteract, left kidney to counteract, and then bring hands to the floor. So just thinking, as you make space between shoulder girdle and pelvic girdle, right, it's like it opens up the precious container the lockbox of your torso to make more space for your organ body. Lengthen upper palate out of pelvic floor. I keep saying that because I don't want the head and the neck to, to hang. You want, um, like as an Alexander technique, the, the head floats on the fountain of the spine. That's an energetic concept that you can actualize Inhale, come up. Twist, liver towards spleen to the left. I love that you just took your hands up and did that. I didn't even ask you to do that, but that's extra credit. You can do it like that, or you can just feel, feel, feel. When you work in this way, it's like it's not even worth doing the movement until you feel where it's coming from. And then take right hand to the outside of left foot. And just notice how it moves in our body. It moves like water. It moves like creatures in water. So you could do all of it from the hand. Much more interesting and elegant to drive from right lung. Drive the liver towards spleen and then feel how there's a backwash and a, a tapping in to the swell and expansion of the liver. And then the next recalibration, right lung Liver moves towards spleen pancreas. And spleen left kidney get buoyant and full. One more drive. Move the inner body. Not neck, not head, not arms. Inner body rotates to the left. Then inhale. Come up. And just for a moment, hands by your side. Sit in the middle. So find that vertical axis. Feeling everything rest, anchor down. And then twist left to right. Yep, you can use spleen, left kidney, upper palate, bladder's heavy, and then fold left lung. Reach his hand. Go this way. Mm -hmm. You can use the hand on the floor. So thinking mind will have a tendency to pull focus, which is why it takes, it takes a way different centering of awareness to move into the sensing body, to sense into your organs to paint in that interior space. And for me, when I found it, I realized I was working on a very two-dimensional plane, and all of a sudden, I became like Pixar, which is the um, pinnacle of all three-dimensionality. 
Use the left lung, use the spleen. See if you can register how spleen correlates to liver. Inhale, untwist. Hold on to the backs of your knees. Bring your feet together facing forward, Baddha Konasana. So holding on to the bottoms of your feet as you fall forward. It's all very compressed in here. All the organs are kind of very compressed. So when I have my pelvis anchored and I lengthen the shoulders, like inchworming the shoulders away from the pelvis, then I feel like, oh, all this space is provided. So this, which can get very compressed, contracted, all of a sudden gets space and length. And it's like you just um, put your fish in a new aquarium that was bigger and cleaner and more expensive. Lengthen the shoulder girdle away from the pelvic girdle. Broaden the space right to left. Lengthen the brain away from the bladder and swell the lungs. Inhale and come up. Just take a comfortable seat. So heels can go to heels or ankles to ankles. If you need to sit on a block or a blanket, you can do sukhasana, easy pose, or even sit on your knees. Let your hands slide back on your thighs. Again, feel the bowl shape of the pelvis and rising from that, the stem of the spine. And then the opposite bowl of the skull. So those two points like a, almost like a barbell shape. And then feel your organs rest into the shape of the ribs. So the lungs can play against the top back ribs. You can feel the kidneys play against the spine, especially if you do slight little undulations in your inner body. You can feel the plumpness of the liver and the spleen hovering in the middle band, and the dome of the diaphragm as it moves like a jellyfish, pushing down to make space for the lungs to expand, and then rising up, expelling lungs, making space for the organs to expand. So just keeping your awareness in that middle band, feeling how with every breath, the massage of the top of the liver, the top of the spleen, and the presence of the organ body which performs so many functions And it is giving rise to our awareness and its complexity and its digestive awareness and its processing of experience. Just raining awareness onto the organs is the smiling organ process, practice. They effervesce in acknowledgement. So it's a part of you. You are in your liver. You are in your spleen. 
you are in your kidneys. You are in your lungs. With your breath, let yourself be in the feeling sense of that rich interior space. Feeling yourself in your whole body. If you like, you may stay here, seated in meditation, or you may lay back into Shavasana. As you're taking Shavasana, if you're taking Shavasana, set the bones, And with each successive exhale, allow the organ body to release into the floor. Allow the space and the movement and fluidity of the organ body to plump in and widen and expand the organs. soften behind your eyelids. Letting the mobility of the inner space allow for a deeper rise and fall of the diaphragm and a deeper space in the lungs. Notice if you're holding, release. So when we release our body, which is always working to move us into homeostasis, into balance and well-being. So surrendering allows that beingness to flood in.
deepen your breath. Feel the easeful space that you're in. This is the space organs induce. This is the space organs, healthy organs live in. If you're in Shavasana, gently move your fingers and your toes. Feel your arms and your legs reach and extend from the interior. So legs from kidneys, arms from lungs. And bending your knees, roll to your right side. Keeping the inner body soft. Use your arms to bring yourself back to seated. Bring your hands to your hearts. Highest goal of yoga is to know your self with a capital S. The self is in everything. Know where it is not. So you use these sweet internal locus points in order to know the feeling sense of self. to your heart, to the sweet complex of organs that makes you up, bow your head. Namaste. Wow, 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 wow,